Welcome back, my friends. Everything you need to know about climate change, one plant at a time. A new project aims to make the vehicle city climate resilient. I'm so delighted to have Pamela here from Climate Resilient Flint joining me. Thanks for being here. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm great. Oh, good. I'm so excited. Okay, first of all, what is Climate Resilient Flint? So Climate Resilient Flint is a climate literacy project and what that means is that if you were part of uh, our programming you yeah. would learn about climate change, you would learn about how climate change is going to affect our area of Michigan uh, and then um, last but not least probably most importantly you would have a series of conversations in community where you're thinking about how can we prepare for the weather hazards that are going to come our way. I feel like that is so necessary. That is that's like it a is, must important. know for people. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> so you're embarking on a cool lot. It's called the Cool Lot Project. What is the goal of this project. What is it? Right. First of all? So the Cool Lot project is a lot revitalization project with a climate change twist. <laughs> so what that means is that uh, groups of neighbors, neighborhood associations, yeah. or um, community-based organizations, if you have a vacant lot on your street or if you have a vacant lot on your property and that vacant lot is slated for community use, you can partner with Climate Resilient Flint. Um, we will fund the plantings of what we call shade forests or rain gardens because our area of Michigan, we're highly likely to see um, uh, an uptick in heat, so in heat waves and then heavier rains as, we're, as we uh, begin to move through uh, climate changes. So um, we're helping to, uh, to kind of begin to yeah. combat or prepare for those changes. Uh, one lot at a time. We yes. uh, recently finished our first cohort. Um, we worked with five fantastic groups across five lots. We planted 77 trees oh with gosh. a total of or over 50, um, 50 volunteers who were attending the planting parties. So. Oh my gosh, I'm sure it looks beautiful and I'm sure that, look at that. Oh my gosh, before and after, right? Yes, that's uh, Catherine Price Mini Park. That's okay. on Saginaw Street. Oh my gosh. So can people still apply to get involved? Absolutely. We have just opened uh, our next, uh, the call for our next cohort. Um, you can visit uh, www.climateresilientflint.com and you can get our applications. Our applications are due uh, Friday, October 11th, I believe, at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, online. You can get them either in a Google Forms or if you would prefer to fill them out by hand, you can print them out and drop them off at the Neighborhood uh, Engagement Hub, who is one of our partners on Climate Resilient Flint. Great. I should say that we are funded by the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration's Environmental Literacy Program. And we are a coalition, if yeah. you're like, who is Climate Resilient Flint? Yeah. We're a coalition of um, inst Flint-based institutions and community-based organizations, which includes uh, Kettering University, um, the Neighborhood Engagement Hub, uh, Environmental Transformation Movement of Flint, the Genesee Conservation District, and the Unmade Institute. I love it. Neighbors working together, businesses, community members, everyone Absolutely. in a partnership, which Absolutely. is so awesome. Yep. What do you hope people in the community take away from this project? Oh, that's a fantastic question. What I really, what we really hope that people take away is that um, climate change is not a scary thing. It can seem really daunting, um, and then it can seem that results and fixes are so far out of reach uh, with everything that you hear on the news. However, uh, our motto is uh, safe neighborhoods, whatever the weather. We're beginning those conversations one neighborhood at a time. We think that community is the foundation for any kind of climate resilience, and so we are super excited to uh, to begin those conversations in Flint. It sounds exciting. I can't wait to see all of the projects. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for so much, doing this. Thank you. Of course, you're so welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, my friends, you can send them to us at WNEM 4 pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 pm news spotlight.